This morning, I had the opportunity to meet with members of the Muslim community at the Islamic Center of Southern California. We were all shocked and disgusted by the mass killings last week of 50 Muslims in a mosque in New Zealand. As many of you are Jewish, uh, my father's family was wiped out by Hitler. When I grew up in Brooklyn, many of the people had Nazi identification from the concentration camps on their arms. Crying. When I would read books about the Holocaust, these picture books of what happened at Auschwitz and the other concentration camps, and tears would stream down my eyes. I never could understand why would people do such terrible and horrible things to people. Then you get a little bit older and you study history. You study our own country and what happened to the Native American people. We study about the abomination of slavery and the segregation and the racism that our African American brothers and sisters experienced. And after all of that suffering, one might have hoped and believed that maybe, just maybe, the world would understand that we share a common humanity. For the superficial differences, you know, your religion may be different than mine, but we share a common humanity. And it is so very disturbing to me that in recent years we seem to be moving in the wrong direction. We seem to be moving toward tribalism. I was thinking so hard about what I could say about the tragedy of New Zealand. And I, I wish I could tell you something profound, and I, I just can't. The only thing that I perhaps can say is out of that terrible tragedy where people were slaughtered because of their religion is that now is the time as never before for us to stand up to hatred of all kind. As President of the United States, I will not have kind words to say about authoritarian leaders around the world who espouse bigotry and hatred. This nation, in fact, will be a leader in bringing our people together regardless of their religion and to create a world in which love will conquer hate.